She's got that look. She's got that style. She's got that conversation that makes you want to stay for a while. She's the All-American Woman. Hi, it's your All-American Woman here with another episode for Black History Month. So today, I wanted to talk to you about some more music. This is really, totally one of my most favorite CDs. I play it all the time. And every time I play it, I usually am one of those people that will be singing every song with the singers on the CD. This is a, a tribute to Rosa Parks. And I know I said that I wasn't going to um, talk about one individual person. But this is not necessarily about, even though they are doing this tribute to one beautiful and wonderful person, Rosa Parks, there are quite a few people on the CD doing the songs. You have, um, let's see here, Fred Hammond, Yolanda Adams, John P. Key and the New Life, New Life Community Choir, Vanessa Bell Armstrong, Daryl Coley, um, Chosen, Richard Smallwood and the Smallwood Singers, and the Freedom Soldiers. And then these group of children, I, they never say where the children come if they're some type of choir or something, but you hear them on there, especially when they talk about, do the song Quiet Strength. Oh my gosh, like my favorite song on the entire CD. And there are like 20 songs on the CD, but that's my favorite one. And each one of the kids... Uh, says something about Rosa Parks, like she stood up so we could sit, so we could sit down, and things like, or she sit sat down. I'm sorry, she sat down so we could stand up, things like that, and it's just beautiful, beautiful. And then they have excerpts from Rosa Parks herself speaking within the CD about what she did and why she did it and the impact it had on her life which if you've ever seen the movie um with the rosa Parks story uh, starring the great woman herself angela bassett then you have an idea of a lot of what she went to and of course if you read any book biography or autobiography about rosa parks you will know you know or have a better understanding of what she had to go through in doing this of course if you look back and looking at the story of it you know that the situation was planned it wasn't just some impromptu moment that came up it was planned that a woman would not give up her seat on the bus and it wasn't just because she was trying to sit in this was in a time where the bus was segregated like every other part of the south was segregated but the thing of it was is that it was segregated as long as the blacks had less than the caucasians and in this instance that's what happened she was sitting in the black only section as she was designated to do but when there were not enough seats left, they told her she had to get up and move to the back so they could make more room for the white patrons. And she said no. And of course, she was arrested. And this set off the biggest and most effective, the effective boycott of 1955. And it was huge. And that's what ended the segregation of at least the buses and then began the domino effect of ending other segregated areas in the south and it was just a beautiful story but can you imagine being back during that time doing something like that it had to be scary because in those times sometimes when you're arrested you were never heard from again and then even being arrested you could she could have been beaten she could have been killed so many awful things could have happened to her. She risked so much to do this. Even though she was doing it for a worthy cause, she risked so much personally just to do this. And, you know, I all hats off to her. You know, when I think about how difficult it must have been for her to make that decision and then to do that because she knew at the time that she was doing this 
that a lot of people were depending on her. And her choice would affect a lot of people, not just herself. And she took that weight on her shoulders, and she did it. And it was just brilliant, you know, because there were no people backing her up or that were going to be there to protect her or move in if someone did something to harm her. No. She was arrested. She was put in jail. And from that, and the news that came from that, began the boycott. And from the boycott became the desegregation of first the buses and then other desegregation in the South. You know, it's just a beautiful thing. And this CD, these people do such a wonderful job. Some of the songs that are on here, something inside so strong. You know, the names, the captain of my ship, um, quiet strength, again, like the most beautiful song on here because it talks about how she was a soft-spoken woman, you know, she was a secretary in the NAACP and she did her part, but she wasn't a preacher like Martin Luther King Jr. She wasn't a radical like Malcolm X, you know. She wasn't, you know, a girl or woman power like Angela Davis, you know. She was just a woman that was trying to do her part, and this is how she did it. And it was in the most beautiful, most strong way, you know. All hats to her. So, yeah, I love this CD. If you ever get it again, another CD. I got this off of Amazon. It's old. This came out back in 1995, but you can still get it off of Amazon today. Um, and I suggest you do that, you know, if you want to hear some beautiful music dedicated to a beautiful woman for a beautiful cause. All right, so that's all I have for you today. Um, I hope you uh, check out some more of my videos that I have for the month of February, Black History Month. And I'm not going to be talking about music. I'll be going to talk about some books and also movies. All right. Well, thank you. And I will see you next time.